Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. And please behave in the chat, otherwise we have to disable it. Focus with us and let us see what we will talk about today. In Kuwait, Kuwait is a Muslim country, as you know, it's a very rich country. And the reason it's rich, not because people there are people of technology or they have knowledge, but because they have oil. And in Kuwait, there is a very famous man, young man, who is a TV host. And we see him right now in the screen. This person, he decided to leave Islam and to become a Christian. And since then, the Muslims are going crazy. <clears throat> Yesterday, enter this guy, he announced I mean, until he announced that he is out of Islam, he was the most wonderful person. He was the most smart person. He was the most intelligent. But today, he is the most stupid one. He's ignorant. He's a crazy. He have a mental problem. All of this because he decided to become a Christian. And this is his video here. He is showing the cross in his neck. He said to everybody, you should know from now on, I am a Christian. And now the Muslims are posting verses from the Quran. Uh, may Allah guide him back. May Allah blah, 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 you know, you know. This guy here is posting a verse that says, the one who seek other than Islam as religion, it's not going to be accepted from him. Mm -hmm. It's not? Actually, if we read this verse, we will die laughing. This verse alone is enough to make, to make a billion Muslim leave Islam if they knew what it says. This is the chapter of Ali Amran, which proved that Muhammad is an ignorant, thinking that Mary, she is the, son, the daughter of Amran, <laughs> which is stupid and have nothing to do with the truth thinking that Moses and Aaron they are the brothers of Mary or Maryam and this verse alone or those verses are enough to prove Islam to be stupid so they are trying to make him come back to Islam and they quote for him this verse let us see this verse together so we can laugh together this is the best this is the best comedy this verse will make this guy go back to Islam let us see it together all right, <clears throat> chapter three. Let us go to the Quran. And love together. Three eighty five. If you have a little intelligence or little intellect or little logic, you will notice that this one, this, this Quran is written by someone either is taking hashish or he is under the influence, influence of, uh, I don't know, you tell me. Whoever seek religion other than Islam, it will never be accepted from him of him. Okay, that's one. It, we, we, that's fine. And in the hereafter, he will be one of the losers. Okay, that's fine. But look what he said here. How shall Allah guide people who disbelieve after they believe? <laughs> and after they bore witness to the messenger. <laughs> so Allah will not guide the one who leave Islam to come back to Islam. So what those we hear in the history the tens of thousands they left Islam and then Abu Bakr he attacked them and then they converted to Islam again <laughs> and and how Allah will guide them huh how Allah will guide them so Allah will guide who will guide isn't it you Muslim will say that everyone, your prophet said, everyone is born as a Muslim. So based on this, 
How Allah will guide those who are law? He made them Muslims and they left Islam. All of us were used to be Muslims according to Islam. Actually, this is true. My mom, when I was a kid, she used to say to me, I grab anything and like, uh, you know, uh, 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 like even if it's a dirt and I put it in my, in my head, maybe. Huh? Crazy, huh? Because I was a Muslim maybe at that time. And she said to me too that I used to do poo poo in, in the diaper. Uh huh. Maybe because I was a Muslim at that time, because everyone is born as a Muslim. So if Allah will not guide those who leave Islam, what if this guy come back to Islam? How you will fix it? How many people, you Muslim, you say he left Islam and then he became a Muslim again? If we can find one, that means Quran and Allah and Muhammad, it's a joke, it's a lie. Uh, <clears throat> if we go to a different verse, just to show you the comedy, how it work. And actually here, those who do this, Allah curse them. The curse of Allah and the angels of and all mankind on them. Uh -huh. You are cursing me now? What kind of God this God is? How that will help? this guy to see the truth hmm. if we go to different verse in the Quran just to show you how silly this book is and especially if you are a Muslim listening listen carefully and see how silly your Muhammad is <clears throat> Allah will not guide the kuffar. Chapter 2, verse number 60, 264. <laughs> Allah will not guide the kuffar, so Allah will guide who? Muslims is the one who wrote your book. Have a brain if Allah does not guide the disbelieving people so how you say to us this person converted to Islam but the Quran just said Allah don't don't guide the disbelieving people so Allah guide who the world will be believing what is so why he said Muhammad if Allah guide only the believing that's mean uh, there's no need for Muhammad everybody believe Everybody who I believe already, Allah will guide him. That's it. So what Muhammad, what what Muhammad job exactly? Additional to play with his nose, women offering him themselves to sleep with him, collecting money and gold and silver, raping women, thinking about marrying children, and he did. Raping the slave in the bed of the wife, and she said to him, In my bed, in my room, in my day, you idiot. Allah will not guide those who disbelieve. So, so those who converted to Islam, how who who guide them? Mickey Mouse. Look at this. All of those verses saying the same. All of those saying the same. Allah will not guide those who disbelieve. And who are the disbelievers? They are the unjust. They are unjust people too. Chapter 9, verse number 37. Allah don't guide the disbelievers. The kuffar. Mm -hmm. What is this? This is Quran? Or somebody was making comedy and Allah guide not people who disbelieve. Is that the manual come with the with the with the with the machine? And the manual say we don't fix the broken machine, so Allah fix what? The machine which is not broken? 
Imagine you call customer service, you bought a TV, and you said to them, my TV is not working. And then they say to you, uh, we don't fix broken TV, but this TV is made by Allah. Allah don't fix broken TV made by Allah. <laughs> what a customer service. <laughs> So of Allah, guide not people who disbelieve. He will guide who? Who? You tell me. And then Allah, he had set seal in their heart, in their ears, in their eyes. So how they can see? <laughs> Guys, why Christian friends don't... But that's the term. If you ask me why Christian Prince is not converted to Islam, I'm going to answer you. Very simple. Christian Prince will not convert to Islam because in the Quran, chapter 16, verse 108, it said that Allah, he set a seal in his heart. Mm -hmm. So Allah, he set a seal on my heart, in my eyes, on my ears, and then I don't convert to Islam, and then Allah will punish me for not converting because he just set a seal. Hmm? Genius. Muhammad could not explain his failure of convincing people. That's why we see Islam is spread only after Muhammad. He have gang joining him. If we go to a different verse, look at this. <clears throat> What a hilarious book. Allah, he have a teaching for us. And Allah teaching will guide many people, but will mislead many people. <laughs> so if you are a Muslim and your son, he opened the Quran to learn. He will find this. He will say, Allah is not shy to give an example even of what is a, a, a mosquito and what is bigger. Here the Muslim, they say a prophet. They say, it says a prophet. The scientists, they found uh, something grow in the top of the mosquito. <laughs> it's about the size, you idiot. So, okay, so Allah don't shy to talk about even about mosquito to give you an example. But what the mosquito have to, what is the example? What is the example? And then he say in the same verses, in the same verse, will the examples of Allah will guide many and will misguide many. Like what the heck? Why Allah give us parable? Answer Allah, Allah answer, he answer, he said, by it, by it, he misleads many and he guide many. <laughs> I mean, this is the best school ever. You go to the school, 50% of the student will be misguided and 50% will, will be guided by the same teacher. Can you believe it? So Allah, he sent a book to a prophet. And this book, when we read it, many of us, we will be misguided by the same book. And many of us will be guided by the same book. I mean, what kind of book this book is? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> what? So this is the purpose of the parable of Allah, to mislead many. And to guide many? So what we did? Brothers and sisters, I'm going to give you a teaching is going to misguide many of you and will guide many of you. ACP, how I will be? Am, am I going to be the misguided or guided? It's based in the Loto. <laughs> and if you Muslim believe that Allah, he decide who will believe and who disbelieve before he created him. So what the point of this parable? <laughs> 
if faith in Islam is a decree of Allah, it's a fate. It's not something you decide. So what the point? Someday will be misguided. Some will be guy. Ah, so this is what happened to this guy. He did read the Quran and he was misguided by the Quran. That's deep. That's deep. How beautiful. Alhamdulillah. That's so good to be true. So this guy, he opened the Quran and he did read the Quran and then he found that there is in the Quran misguiding verses so he left Islam. This is what the verse is saying. جهاز المناقصات المركزية ثلاثة ديوان الخدمة المدنية أربعة الفتوى والتشريع خمسة جهاز متابعة الأداء الحكومي ستة سوق الكويت الأوراق المالية سبعة Why you, you Muhammad why what's wrong with you change your diet man what did Allah intend by this parable uh -huh. What his intention is? <laughs> By it, he mislead. I mean, look, even he starts with misleading part. Allah gave parable to mislead. Oh, is that making me dizzy now? So here, yeah, Allah, what? Uh, this is how smart the parable of Allah to the point will make you dizzy and will make you leave Islam. I mean, look how genius he is. So he give you parable when you listen to it. There's a chance of 50-50, you will leave Islam forever, and there's a chance of 50-50, you will be guided. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, And then you will go in the comment section, you will see a guy posting for you. Do you see the Old Testament says there is a slavery? Is that the word of God? They never answer about what we talk about. If you go to the comment section, you will see Muslim posting the same thing. And there's a guy, he come, he says, I left, his, left, uh, they left the church in the 2006 or 2004. He kept repeating the same copy paste in every page. I will shave my beard if you are not a Muslim since you were a baby like your prophet. Because obviously you keep repeating the same thing. Now listen. The drama continue. Many, they decide to help this guy to see the truth. And they start posting for him verses. Some they are cursing him. Uh, this guy is saying here something very funny. He said, From the father of the cats, Jaan Abi Huraira, Huraira mean cats, okay? بدأ الإسلام غريبا وسيعود غريبا and then he said this is a scary hadith oof 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 why is it scary to see it to see it because people don't speak uh, uh, Arabic as you know so we have to show them this is the guy the comment he said this is a scary hadith man it's happening the prophecy of the prophet of Allah and you say prophet of Allah is not the prophet here we go Islam is start as a small religion and is going to come back as a small religion so you Muslim you can say everybody will convert to Islam Islam will dominate and when Muhammad saying the opposite what's wrong with you you follow Muhammad or you follow uh, Shish uh, Kabab Hamas uh, news agency So this guy is saying it's happening. Islam is started as a small and will go back small. Yeah, we are shrinking it. <laughs> we are in the heart of Arabia making people life on air leave Islam. I mean, look how look how crazy the situation is. They are not even hiding it no more. So he said, 
This is a scary. This guy is saying to me, Allah, fix us in our religion. Okay, Allah will fix you, don't worry, but in a different way. <clears throat> this guy is saying, I ask Allah, the Lord of the throne. I thought you will say the Lord of the ring, because you remember the Lord, the ring of Solomon? <laughs> to open his eyes and show him, you eat it. Don't you see? Don't you know that Allah, he says, that Allah guide not the one who he misguide? I mean, what's wrong with the Muslims? Don't you know? They don't know the Quran. Isn't it the Quran says, Allah guide not those who he mislead? This is why my book is called <laughs> Deception of Allah. One of them. <clears throat> Let us see the verses. Asking Allah to guide him. Idiot. You do not know your religion. Here we go. <clears throat> oh boy. Woman, you did Allah. فَلَنْ تَجِدُ لَهُ سَبِيلًا The one who Allah misguide, no one can guide him again. This is Quran. What you will do now? According to your religion, if somebody leave Islam, Allah make him leave Islam. And if Allah make him leave Islam, nobody can make him a Muslim. Do you see it? Chapter 4, verse number 143. <clears throat> and the funny translation here says that who Allah sent astray. I mean, where, where is the word sent astray in Arabic? It says yudlil, yudlil, mislead, lie, deceive. This is what yudlil mean. Since when it's mean sent away, like, hey, I will send you astray, okay? <laughs> It is literally mislead and deceive. A scam, in other one, other word. Let us see different translation. Maududi, dudi. Hey, dudi, how are you? The Muslim like maududi. They dangle between one and the other faith, disbelief, and belong neither to door nor to door complete. And what this guy is talking about, okay? And he whom Allah lets go astray for him, you can find no way. What? 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 I mean, this is a new words now. When you try, when you change the translation, translation as you you change the whole Quran, it's like a new Quran. Let us see different verses. I'm not satisfied yet. I want to see more. Mm -hmm. Let us see more. <clears throat> How guidance arrived to us. Look at this. Look at this. Genius. Science. Logic. Those who reject ayat. Mm -hmm. Muhammad, he came with the proofs. Which proof? Like one. Which one? He went to the journey heaven, nobody saw him. He claimed that he had the power of 40 men in bed, even his wife, she said he imagined. Hmm. Or deaf and dumb in darkness. Okay, thank you for telling us. Allah send a stray who he wills and he guide on a straight path whom he will. So look what? It's Allah fault. It's Allah who sent astray who he want. And again, the word astray is false. It says the one who deceive is Allah and the one who guide is Allah. <clears throat> what is this? So what the problem with those people then? If Allah is the one who will guide and Allah is the one who misguide. If Allah the one who deceive and is Allah, he is the one who lead you to the, to the right path. So what the problem? Why people will go to hell? Isn't it obvious that we should go after Allah?
It's in the front of you. It says it's Allah who misguide people, and it's not it's not me who misguide me. It's Allah who misguide me. Allah who deceive me. So how I'm going to go to hell? Yeah, thank you. The one is saying, who needs shaitan if we have Allah? Because if if Allah is the one who misguide and deceive, so shaitan do what for living? <laughs> who is shaitan? Exactly. <laughs> huh? Who needs shaitan when you have Allah? Exactly. So if, if Allah is the one who misguide and Allah is the one who guide, if Allah is the one who take you astray and he deceive you, and Allah the one who guide you. So shaitan do what exactly? What his job? Hmm? This is again chapter 6 verse number 39 for the one is asking. And there is tons of verses etc. In chapter 6, 125, things is even get funnier. Look, whomsoever Allah will guide, he open his breast. Mm -hmm. Who was a, who was not a Muslim and he become a Muslim? Did Allah open your breast? <laughs> I forgot. Yes, Allah he do that. According to Muhammad, Allah he sent an angel and did a plastic surgery for the Prophet. And they open his chest and they cut it from ear to ear, which means to his pubic area. Uh -huh. Allah, he open your chest and he make it uh, extending. No need to go to Thailand for those who go to Thailand to do plastic surgery. Here we go. Zorn, if you if you became a Muslim, that's mean Allah He choose you to for you to do for you a free plastic surgery. Here we go. Prophet of Allah said, when I was sitting etc. next to etc. behind etc. after etc. He said that uh, two angels they came to me. Jibril he cut open this part from here to here, all the way to his testicles, which makes sense because testicles have to do with the breast, you know, expanding, you know, because testicles is the vertical, it's the one they control. That's why they are coming out, my my friend, like me. Why they are out? Because they're it's so narrow inside, so like they go out, and then they cut off his chest and they cut his abdomen. Uh, people will laugh about me how I say abandonment. My friend, this is the correct English. We are the Arab who created English. Abandonment, abandonment. And then they wash it with zamzam. -zam. This is true. According to science, you have to wash when you take all the heart and the liver and the, you know all the things like all the, you open the truck, you take it out, put it in zamzam -zam water, you wash it. And then after they wash it with their hands, look, they don't use machine. Alhamdulillah. Jibril is not into technology. He uses his hands. Easier, 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 easier. Okay, now give me give me the, the, the detergent. Is the detergent is zam zam. If you want to buy a detergent, I advise you to buy zam 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 zam. What is that? Going back to our topic, you can read this story if you want. This is the reference here. Sahih al Bukhari. <clears throat> Hadith number 7517. But because this is not our topic, so we will not read the whole thing. The whole thing is hilarious. You will die laughing. And actually, your wife, she might ask you to become a Muslim so you will have bigger chest. <laughs> my husband, why your chest is narrow? Mm -hmm. What's wrong with my chest? Oh, the chest of the the chest of the neighbor is way bigger than yours. I can't put my head there. <laughs> what neighbor are you talking about? Oh, the neighbor which Muhammad he used, uh, you know. You know. <laughs> Going back to the topic. So, Allah He guide who He will, and He des deceive who He will. What a joke! So, what Shaitan do? Huh? Any Muhammadan can tell me. Hmm. In chapter 7, verse 186, it says, Whomsoever Allah deceive, not send astray. 
None can guide him. Oof, 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 oof. So let them wander blindly. Genius. <clears throat> they are asking Allah about the our judgment. Tell them Allah knows best. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> uh, let us continue because uh, there's more, a lot more. Chapter 9, verse 115. Allah will not never, will never let people astray. No, sorry, uh, again they say astray. I mean, what a liar. This is, this is the word you deal, deceive. So Allah will never lead people astray after he has guided them. What is that? Is that who, who is the translator? Guys, anyone anyone see the, 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 the stupid verse, what the verse is saying? Anyone notice what the verse is saying? I want to see in the chat. I'm looking at the chat now. Before I wasn't looking. Who is going to tell me we mentioned a verse before, which is totally the opposite from this verse. Which verse? Anyone tell me? This verse says, Allah will not deceive you after he guided you until he make it clear for them what they should avoid, right? <laughs> okay, do you remember the the verse we mentioned here? Let us go back. Chapter 3, verse number 85, you remember it? Let us go to chapter 385 and love together. So again, this is, we are in chapter 9, verse 115. How shall Allah guide people who disbelieve after they believe, and after they bore witness that messenger of Allah is true, after a clear proof? Okay, so how shall Allah guide who? Those who became Muslims. He will not guide them. Okay, what he will do then? Allah will never lead people into deception after he has guided them until he make it clear for them as the, to 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 what they should avoid but isn't it you who lead people astray it's not them look look allah will never lead astray this is the muslim translation not my translation After he guided them until he make it clear what she avoid. Okay, so after you make them clear for them to avoid, and then you be, then you lead them astray. <laughs> Listen to me, brothers and sisters. I'm going to teach you swimming, and I will not make you drown until I teach you how to swim. And after I teach you how to swim. I will drown you. Look, what the heck? Why you would drown me? This is what the verse is saying. Allah will not deceive me until he guide me and tell me what to avoid. And then he deceive me. The same verse saying that.
you know what I want to open the dictionary because this word here is bothering me they keep saying lead astray lead astray maybe Christian Prince is lying you know maybe maybe the dictionary doesn't say that CB you know let us go to dictionary the Arabic dictionary <clears throat> give me a second let me find it all right we search for it here we go <clears throat> we will copy the word in the front of you from the arabic text as it is we will take it to the dictionary dictionary piece upon him and we will post it here enter Look what the dictionary says. Look, look, they put for you. He let goes astray. <laughs> but in the top it says to mislead. Quran. <laughs> to what? To mislead. <laughs> Misdirecting, misguiding, misleading, uh, uh, perverting. Uh, all those, brother. False action, false action. Allah will do false action to you. Uh, uh, let's, this is the bent of the use for sure, you know. Uh, <clears throat> so in the top it says Quran to mislead. So Allah will not mislead you until He guide you. Genius. So first you guide me. Uh, brother, do you know how to, how to go to Las Vegas? Yes, brother, it's very easy. Take highway 222-22007, okay? And then take highway, and now he's guiding me. Almost I arrived to, 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 to Las Vegas, and then he misguided me again. And he said, take, 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 take this exit. And I find myself going again, going back to Los Angeles. Genius. So what the Quran in Arabic is mislead, deceive. If we take this is you see here it says yudil. If we take the original word which is yudil without l, let us take the l off. That is the original word yudil. Adallah. Hmm. Look 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 look. Adallah. It's a verb. Which is play a trick. Draw a person by trickery to deceive. Do you see it? To what? I know this. <clears throat> this bar, I'm trying to get rid of it so we can show you the text. This bar is covering the thing. The stupid bar, like uh, to share the sign here, you know. I'm trying to get rid of it. Give wrong information so Allah guide you, and then Allah will deceive you and give you wrong information. And then Allah, when He misguide you and give you wrong information, you go to hell. Thank you very much. So, first Allah, He do what? He guide you, and then after He guide you and make it clear for you, then He trick you. And brother and sister, Allah is the better of the giver. And if you don't believe me, look at me. This is who? This is Zachary Knight. When I get married, Allah came to me in the dream and said to me, marry the woman. And he said to me, see the beautiful. And because we are Muslim and see it were in Burka, I could not see her. And when we went to the bathroom, I mean the bedroom, I found that she looked like a man. And Allah deceived me, tricked me. And now I became Zachary Knight husband. What kind of religion this religion is? So why the Muslim they keep saying lead astray, lead astray, lead astray? In fact, you see, lead astray is not far away from the meaning, but lead astray, you know, it's not really what the word is used in Arabic. It is to deceive, to give wrong information, to lie.
So if we go back again to the Quran <clears throat> and we try to analyze the stupidity of the author, Allah will never lead people by deceiving them after he guided them until, so still he will deceive you. So Allah will guide you first and then he will deceive you. Look at this God. That's deep. I really appreciate Allah. Who can do this better than Allah? Nobody. Nobody knew, nobody knew, nobody knew, nobody. Da -da -da. Nobody. Who can do this? What a God he is. So brothers and sisters, I will open a school to teach you. And in this school, I will teach you how to do things right and then I will start teaching you how to do wrong <laughs> so at the end of the day you end wrong <clears throat> hmm. so Muslim they start posting comment videos Everybody want to guide this guy to bring him back to Islam. And for sure he is getting a lot of a threat. And look this one. Allahumma thabitna ala deenaka wahdina wa qarribna ilayk. Oh Allah, keep us, you know, fix us in your religion. And look what she is wearing. Look. What religion is yours? Isn't it this is haram according to Islam? What is this? True Muslim. They are Muslims. He is the, according to Islam, you are the Muslim too. According to Islam, you are apostate. It is, it is okay. <clears throat> ah, this guy is making a threat. Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu, man yartadda minkum an dinihi, fasawfa yati allaha biqawmin yuhibbahum, o yuhibbunahum. Oh, you believe. You know, why the Muslim keep saying nobody leave Islam, nobody leave Islam? When the verse of the Quran is full of verses about people left Islam. Look, Allah is, you know, look like Allah was lying. And then Allah will bring people who do jihad against those who do Islam, do leave Islam. But you are the one who deceived them, so why you want to do jihad against them? Isn't it Allah is the one who deceive whoever he want and guide whoever want we want? <clears throat> this guy is you know, quoting this verse, chapter 5, verse number 54. Oh, who you believe, whoever among you turns back from his religion, Islam, Allah will bring people who will love him <laughs> and they will love him they are humble toward the believer, but they are going to be tough, fighting, criminal killers, do jihad in the weight of Allah. So this guy is making a threat. We will come after you. But I assure you, he's a potato coward. Like those YouTubers, you know, Fifi and Mimi and Susu, they claim to be Muslims, but they are sitting in London paying tax and they are carrying a passport have the the crown of the queen and the crown of the queen she have a cross in it instead of doing jihad they will you know, make youtube oh uh, <clears throat> this person is saying this uh journalist because he's a tv host he is a very good man. I don't know what happened to him. He's a very, very nice person. What happened? We pray to Allah. I don't know what happened. <laughs> oh boy. All of them, they are like, what happened? What happened to this man? What happened? And this guy is quoting a verse from the Quran. If we read this verse, we will die laughing. Mm. 
Well, you know, in Kuwait, in Kuwait, in case you do not know, there is many uh, ex-Muslims since the American are controlling the country. So the country is different from what it used to be before. The one is really in control is, is, is the American. So I don't think they can do anything to him. Uh, there is many ex-Muslim already and they have a church. Actually, they have a picture for the the founder of that church. Uh, let us see here. In this uh, clip here, see here, they will show you the one who I think here, let's see. Hey. Uh, this is, here we go. This is the guy who used to be, a, a, he's a Kuwaiti. He, be, he became a Christian and he established a Christian TV in Kuwait. So not only they have, they have a church, they have a Christian TV in Kuwait. All right. So things are really changed. Very much changing. Um, all right, let us see more more comment. <clears throat> uh, this guy is telling you a description for anyone is suffering from problem to sleep. The prophet said a description to sleep. Okay, I want to hear. I mean, I want to hear what he's saying. <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> Even though this is out of the topic, but they are hilarious. Okay, tell us, brother. What is the description for people who cannot sleep? Tell us, brother. Uh -huh. Take this description from, from the Prophet himself if you have a problem to sleep. A person his name is Khalid ibn al-Makhzumi. He came to the Prophet and he said to him, I cannot sleep. The Prophet said, Huh. The Prophet, he said to him, if you want to go to bed, do this. Say, Allahumma, Allah is the God of the seven skies. Like what? <laughs> uh. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <coughs> Let us find the hadith he is quoting. Look at this hadith. And they even they put it for you in Latin letters so you can use it without knowing what it's mean. So now if you are an American or uh, Korean or Vietnamese or uh, Indonesian, you can say this. Allahumma rabba samawati wa labba al-andi wa dama dabakata wa la labba labba labida sasa chatita shita chutu hasata hasasa shushu. And then you will sleep. Translation now. Allah, O the Lord of the seven heavens, and all they overshadow lord of the seven world they will and 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 all they uphold lord of the devils and all they lead astray but you just show the quran says allah lead astray the devil he lead astray now ah he is the lord of the devils i got it he is the boss <laughs> he is the biggest devil so muhammad supposedly he give this as a prescription for the one who cannot sleep, brother. So this uh, guy in uh, Twitter is saying, brother, if you don't know how to sleep, uh, he said to him, uh, read this, brother, say this before you go to bed, and you, know, you will sleep like crazy. <laughs> I think I'm getting sleepy because I just read it. Uh, guys, I feel sleepy, uh, and I'm losing my energy. A second ago, I was fine, and now I feel so sleepy. <laughs> yeah, because you because I said the, the the player, I said the player. You say that you sleep right away. Allahumma, let us do it together. So all of us we will sleep. By the end, we finish this prayer. All of you, we have and we have one thousand people listening. By the end of reading this, all of us will be snoring. Wonderful, wonderful. Allahumma rabbu samawati. Okay. 
we go back to your Twitter. Oh, Twitter, what a joke. All right, and this guy is reciting Quran for us. Okay, thank you. Yeah, this guy is sitting shower. Okay, there is a guy. Hold on, I want to find the guy. Oh, here we go. Hold on. This guy, he is trained this guy how to get out of this. He said, so I'll to 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 Ustaz Muhammad al Mu'min, the person who left Islam, is asking him a question. And I wish he can answer me with logic and using his brain. As we knew him as a journalist, he's a smart person, very well known. And now he will ask the question. So we listen to the question. Tell us the question. الإعلامي محمد المؤمن أي شيء أراه يخص المسيحية بهدف الشهرة راح تضايقون رجل اعتنق المسيحية نسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى A question to this guy he became a Christian Okay we seek Allah what? ثبات على دينه We seek Allah to fix us now what Get a crazy glue Okay, and he likes Christianity. Okay, so it does. I have a question for you. Did you know what the religion you follow now is saying about the Prophet Lut? What? Tell us. In the in the in the Old Testament, in the in, 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 those people they mix between Injil and they are ignorant. You know, even the Quran says that Injil is the book of Jesus. The, the Torah is the book of Moses. He said this is in the Injil, idiot. Anyway, so anyway, uh, in the book of, okay, uh, Genesis, it says what? Uh -huh. Translation. He is saying in the book of Genesis, chapter 19, it says that the daughter of Lot, they slept with the father and they made him drunk. Yes, brother. How disgusting. Tell us more. I seek Allah refuge by Allah. They slept with their dad, brother. They sleep with their dad. I seek refuge by Allah. You idiot. He is saying they accuse the Prophet Lut that he drank wine and he got drunk and he slept with his wife, his, his daughters. You stupid liar. You coward. The verse in the front of you, it says they slept with him and he was he was asleep. He was totally drunk. And the reason for that, because they are living alone and they were afraid they cannot have babies. There's nobody. They live alone. And this is not a prophet. And secondly, the, the Bible is reporting a story. It's not God said to them, so if now I go and I sleep with my daughter, are you going to say, God, he said that to me? And then somebody write in the book that this guy, he did this. So, liars and cowards. Secondly, Lot is not a prophet. Can you tell me the prophecy of Lot, Mr. Prophet Lot? Muslims, one of the most crazy religion. Anyone for them is a prophet. Zulkarnain, Alexander the Great, is a prophet. Al-Khadr, which is a fiction guy, does not exist, is a prophet. Tons of names we never heard, they are a prophet. Anyone he see in his way, he make him a prophet. But here you see how they lie. When this man, he left the city, which was committing and full of sin, they live alone. They stay away from people. And those daughters who this guy is quoting what they did, they are not guided by Allah. Or no, see, they are guided by Allah. Exactly. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> They are not guided by my God to do that. They are guided by Allah. Let us, let us go to the hadith to show this idiot what he just said. Isn't it the Quran said that when somebody commit adultery, Allah, he wrote the portion of adultery you will do? The portion? 
for him before he created him. Is that a hadith written by your prophet? Made by your prophet and about Allah? Verily Allah has the fixed very portion of adultery which man will do indulge in and which of him of necessity he must commit. So if this story happened according to you and it's a shame, we'll go question Allah because Allah the devil is the one who he wrote for those daughters to sleep with their father. And as long you're against daughter to sleep with her father, so how you explain to me this? Potato. Isn't it this is your Quran? Chapter 25, verse number 54. It says, وَهَوَ الَّذِي خَلَقَ مِنَ الْمَاءِ بَشَرَ فَجَعَلَهُ نَصَبًا وَصَهْرًا Explanation. It says, According to the interpretation, قَالَ ibn al-Arabi. You read Arabic. If you're a person who reads Arabic, this guy is Arabic. He is an Arab, so... <laughs> النسب عبارة عن خلط الماء بين الذكر والأنثى على وجه الشرع. النسب رينج is about mixing the water of the man and the women according to the law. So if it was illegal, which is not, not under the law, it is just a creation and there is no lineage in Islam. If you are a child of uh, 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 illegal relationship, which means not marriage, you are not considered the son of the person. And he is saying, وَلِذَلِكَ لَمْ يَدْخُلْ تَحْتَ قَوْلِهِ And this is why it says, it is not considered under his statement in the Quran, حُرِّمَتْ عَلَيْكُمْ أُمَّهَاتُكُمْ وَبَنَاتُكُمْ بِنْتُهُ مِنَ الزِّنَا This is why it is not considered as the Quran says and forbid. It's forbidden for you, your mother and your daughter. So the Quran, have a verse says, it's forbidden for you, your mothers and your daughters. But because she is his daughter out of marriage, so she is not forbidden. And the guy continues saying. And because of that, it doesn't go under. So the daughter is forbidden to sleep with if she is a daughter from marriage. Are you there, Muslims? If your daughter is not from marriage, you can sleep with her. Because she is not his daughter, according to the most accurate opinion of the scholars and the most accurate opinion of the religion. And if there is no lineage from marriage, so there is no uh, thing for forbidden for daughter and the mother of the daughter and what is forbidden from kosher is not going to be for which means what is forbidden is going to be forbid forbidden only if it's coming from kosher from something right so your daughter from something right is forbidden for you. Your daughter out of marriage is not forbidden for you. So according to Islam, now you can have sex with your daughter. And because some they will say it's not true, I'm going to use Google translation. I mean, what we can do. And I will post the link for you in the chat. What we can do. Here we go. And this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And now I will do translation in the front of your eyes. Translate to English. He is the one who created a human being from water, so he made him a human, meaning it was created from a sperm. So he made it, this is Google translation, remember that, it's okay. So it, he made a man, a lineage, and a son-in-law, which means if it's a marriage, it's considered as a son-of-law if you are in marriage. If not, you are not. If you are having sex with a daughter of somebody, you are not son-of-law, and whatever coming from this relationship is not considered your children's. They are just children of adultery. And he said, uh, I mean, translation is very funny here. 
uh, he made everything from every living thing every living creature from water which is stupid because Allah according to the Quran he created the, the genie from fire and the angels are created from light so not everything is living is created from water that's stupid in this verse it says here you continue <clears throat> In the Arabic said, lineage is referred to mix of water between male and female, according to the manner of Sharia. If it was, and, and if it was a sin, it was absolute creation, and it was not established lineage. So you cannot consider it a daughter. You cannot consider the, the if you if you sleep with a woman and she have a child from you, boy or a girl. That is not considered as your child. It's just a creation but in this case here we are talking about daughter because later he will say his daughter so and therefore it did not come under his saying which means Quran saying your mother and your daughter have forbidden for you from fornication it's forbidden for you to sleep with them and fornicate with them okay because because a court this is the most accurate opinion saying of our scholar so here it says because this person is born of adultery and she is your daughter yes so it's not forbidden for you to sleep with the mother and her daughter read carefully and if it is not from sharia there's no lineage in it so it's not forbidden by the law it's not forbidden by the law to have sex with your daughter then adultery is not forbidden with the daughter and her mother. What is forbidden from what is permissible is not forbidden from what is forbidden. Do you see it? So in their religion, they can have sex with their children. And again, the, the, the website I gave you, this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And this is one of their biggest scholar, al qurtubi And the one is talking there. They are, it says even there, this is the most accurate view of the religion and the scholars. The most accurate, the most correct, do you see? The most accurate according to the religion and according to scholars. You can have sex with your daughter. So when this guy, this idiot, he's saying to to the to uh, to Muhammad, who left Islam, became a Christian. How you can accept to follow a religion saying that? Actually, you see, this is a proof that you Muslims, you lie when you say that our Bible is corrupted, because if something needs to be taken off. So an idiot like you will not make a false statement. Is this a story maybe? But we did not. Why? Because this is a true history. This is not God said to them, go and have sex with your, with, with, with your father. It's not God who ordered them and go have sex like you now in the Quran. So because they are desperate, they do not know how to, to answer this guy. He's a very famous person who every Muslim in the Gulf, they love him, especially women. Then they wake up in the morning and they find this guy wearing a cross and saying, I am a Christian. They could not take it. So the comment is endless and I say to Muslims I mean why this guy will not leave Islam a religion promised me a penis was going to be endless is that from God a religion promising me if I kill some people I will go to heaven a religion telling me that the Prophet he will be having the power of 4,000 men for sex I mean, why I want to believe in such a garbage? Hmm?
Here there is other Muslim. He's a sheikh. He is refuting this guy. He says the Quran says, those who say that the Messiah is Allah, they are kuffar. Yeah, we don't say the Messiah is Allah. Allah is the devil. We just showed you. Allah is the misguiding. Allah is the Lord of, the, of, of Satan's. Allah is the Lord of the devil. Even your prophet, he says that. He is the Lord of the devils. He is what? He is the Lord of the devils. O oh Allah, the Lord of the seven heaven. And why there are seven, by the way? I mean, he should not leave Islam. The Quran says there is seven skies and seven earth. Hey, Muslims, where we can find the seven earth? The Lord of the devils. I thought that is Solomon. Like, like Solomon, he gave his job to uh, Allah. <clears throat> There is a million reasons to leave this cult. I mean, who in the world want to believe in religion that if you believe in it, Allah will give you 80,000 little boys? What? The last people who enter paradise. Oh, this is the last one. The one who get the lowest, the lowest. You see, this is the lowest. The least of the people who enter paradise in the position with 80,000 servants, they are boys. 80,000 servants? 80,000 servants. Muhammad, aren't you exaggerating too much, my friend? I mean, if my food will be ready by wishing, wishing the food to be there, what servant will do? If I will never have laundry, if my house will never get dirty, if there's no dishes to wash, the second you eat, all the, the garbage disappear. You don't go to the bathroom. You don't sweat. You don't get dirty. And you don't change your clothes. So what the servant will do? And the brother, your house will be a tent of pearl. <whistles> Always I want to have a tent of pearl. And the distance between the tent, brother, is like the same distance between uh, 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 Damascus and uh, Yemen. <sighs> this is like what? Uh, 2,000, 3,000 miles? This is the distance between... This is small. For sure this is small. I mean, you will have 80,000 little boys. me and all of you will be in the heaven 33 years old <clears throat> and this is what here it says hold on young or old shall be brought back in paradise 30 years old what this guy what he is talking about they are they are not quoting the, the whole hadith Anyway, I mean, you should go, you should become a Muslim, you know, yeah. Actually, you know, for me, the there is there is a story in the in the Hadith Muhammad he mentioned it. This one is enough to make me a Muslim. You know, when uh, 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 when the the stone uh, stole the cloth of Moses. I mean. Since then, I have a phobia from stones. I don't, I don't get sent. I don't sit on them. I don't leave my clothes on them. Like I go to the swimming pool, brother. What I do, I will never let my clothes in the uh, in the in the in the stone, even if it's a concrete. Because look, stones they can move by the order of Allah, and they can steal their wallet. Allah fix us in Islam. Allah fix us. It's a true story. People accuse Musa, they have a problem with his testicles. So Allah decided to prove that his testicles is wonderful and his private part is a point. So what he did, when Musa would decide to take a shower, he put his clothes, brother. Look, look, look at the story. One day when Musa 
was taking a bath alone alone you must be kidding me and look look between two brackets alone to make it clear like he's alone we told you he's very shy okay he placed his clothes upon a stone but the stone began to move along with the, his clothes Musa's run after it saying oh my garment stone <sighs> by the way ladies you can use this story in case you took the credit card of your husband if something like this happened just do this tell him go to the river or the, the, if you live next to the beach Tell him, go, take a shower. He go out, he said, a stone stole it from you. If he don't believe you, show him the story. Can he accuse Prophet of Allah to be a liar? And he's a Muslim? So you can take his credit card now, before he leave the house, then he go to the beats, and then he take a shower. He come from the beats, and you can move the, like when he is like diving, he like move his clothes around, like just throw them away. So he will make, okay, somebody play with them. And tell him, don't put your clothes on the sand, okay? Put it in the rock. Be sure you say that to him, you know? Don't tell him, don't put your clothes and tell him, like, because I don't want your clothes to get full of sand, okay? And then he will uh, make, make sense, make sense. So he will put his clothing in the top of the rock, not on the sand. And then when he come back, he don't find his credit card. What you say to him? Let me show you this story. I know what happened. Allah, he ordered the stone to steal your credit card. In the case of Musa, she took the whole thing, the garment, the wallet, the pant, everything. So he ran after, oh my garment, till he, till he reached the group of Bani Israel, and he saw him naked. <sighs> Thanks to Allah, at that time, there was no police. If there's a police, uh, 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 Musa will be arrested for exposing himself in front of its children. Don't leave Islam, my friend. Islam is telling the truth. Muhammad is not telling a lie. And then Musa, when he arrived to the stone, he started beating the stone. And by Allah, the Prophet, he swear, by Allah, they still have some traces of the hitting. <sighs> Look, when Muhammad, he swear, that's, that's it. It's serious. By Allah, the prophet, he hit the stone. Yes, brother. Idiot. He hit the stone. And by Allah, until now, the trace of the hitting. I mean, what kind of a stick this Musa he have? Ah, no wonder he split the sea. Now I know why he carry his stick with him. Hmm. So anyway, they are going crazy. Because this guy, he left Islam. I'm so happy for him. We love Muslims. And we will never hate them. For the Lord, the Messiah, he says, love your enemy. Pray for those who curse you. They are cursing him. They are angry from him. I say to him, don't curse them back. Today you are a Christian. You belong to the true Lord. God is all about love. Love your enemy. And let the one who live with their hate suffer with their hate they are the one who will suffer those who have hate in their heart they suffer with their hate your hate will kill you hate is like a knife in your chest it is actually a knife in your chest if you are a person who believe in hate So my friend, we say to our brothers in, our brother in Christ, Muhammad al-Mu'min, the TV, the famous TV host in Kuwait. We are happy for you, good for you, and may the Lord bless you. And we will pray from our heart, your family, to join you in Christ, so you will not be alone in the family. Those who hate you for what the good you do, the good you did, they will thank you tomorrow 
for sharing the truth and you are so brave we have to admit we have to agree that this person is very brave to live in the heart of Arabia and yet life on air he say I am a Christian and he show the cross in his neck good for you and our prayer for all people of Kuwait to accept the Messiah soon very soon and in his name we pray we love the Muslims we will never hate them Muhammad he want us to hate each other but we will not feel, fall into the trap of Muhammad we will not be hate mongers if you are a Christian and you hate the Muslims you are far away from Christ you better think again and those who come to Christ from between the Muslims like this gentleman here this is the founder of a Christian TV station in Kuwait now in Kuwait we have ex-Christian ex-Muslims who they have not only churches they have their TV stations so the Lord is great and Christianity is coming I just today I spoke with someone from uh, a Christian who work in China and he told me the great news the prediction that the biggest Christian country in the world is going to be China is going to be literally China the biggest country in the world so after all what the communists did it after all what the Muslim they do trying to stop the gospel the love of Jesus to arrive to every home to every person but if the Lord is with me who could be against me and with that I say God bless you all pray for the Muslims love them never hate them so you can be a great example of the great Lord God is good so is Jesus thank you God bless you and see you soon again take care